Hey guys, welcome back to another review on our YouTube channel. Very excited today to bring you the SOB Center Stand, the Southern Oregon Baggers. Guys, I've been scrimping and saving all my pennies and dimes to get this thing ever since we installed the JNR designed air ride on the scooter back here. I've been wanting to get this center stand. These guys were highly recommended by a couple of my friends. A buddy of mine in St. Louis has one on his bike. Absolutely loves it. Now, actually, when we got into the bike, uh, it was a little bit different because I have actual true dual exhaust. Now I've read in the forums and stuff like that, if you got the dual exhaust, it's a, a cross under exhaust that goes under the bike. Um, these center stands can be a little bit of a pain uh, because the stand when it flips up can actually hit the exhaust. So I had to do some modifications, uh, had to flip my compressor around, stuff like that to make all this stuff work. Now if you have cross under exhaust like I have back here, I have uh, Cobra power port headers and the uh, true duals uh, with rush racing pipes. When this thing right here flips up like that, these are gonna hit that pipe unless you can get a shorter stand like we did here. All right guys, so here's the stand. I try to get it a little bit closer to the camera. Here's your actuator. What well, basically, uh, it's very simple install. We're gonna loosen this right here. We're gonna put this through, put a little Loctite on it, tighten that down, but not too tight. And then this is the plate right here. I'm gonna take this plate off. This of course goes on the bottom of the bike. This goes up above the frame and it's already tapped right here. You just uh, simply put these screws back in and ba basically sandwich it onto the frame. And then once this is connected, then you'll have this. It'll go up and it'll go down. And then it's all pre-wired, like I said. Comes out of the actuator right here, guys. And then there is your switch. We're going to install that right next to the switch where our uh, dump valve is for the uh, air shock. So basically, We'll just reach in, put the uh, center stand down, reach over here, and drop the uh, bike. All right, guys, as you can see, I have changed outfits, and that's because we're three days later. This turned into an extensive project for me. Uh, a couple of phone calls to uh, SOB, a couple of phone calls to JNR Air Ride. Had to figure out a lot of things to get this to work with True Dual Exhaust. Now, I'm going to show you guys what I had to do. It may not be the best way to do it, but this is exactly what I did, and the bike's rideable, and it didn't change the performance of the bike whatsoever. Still rides and handles exactly the same. Uh, the problem with True Dual Exhaust is, guys, is the pipe that runs underneath the bike nearest the frame kind of cuts back towards um, the front of the bike, so the center stand's coming up and hitting on that one side. We found out today by taking my bike over to uh, Squeak's Big Twins in Murfreesboro, and the way I took it there, he's a custom exhaust guy. He checked it out and he said the reason why it cuts back like that is because if you move it forward, you're gonna get into the belt. The uh, heat from the exhaust will be right next to the belt. So they've moved it forward and down just a little bit to get that away from the belt. So no options on moving the exhaust if I wanna keep true duels, which I do because I already have cut out bags and fender and stuff like that. I don't wanna run a side pipe because I've got too much money invested in my bags as it is. Now the one thing I had to do that I kinda of questioned at first was adding lowering blocks with the air ride. I've seen it in forums and I've seen people say, well, if you blow a shock, now you're sitting on your tire. Or if you blow an airline, you're sitting on your tire. Uh, not necessarily true, guys. I added a one inch lowering block on this. After talking to the guys at JNR, they said it was fine as long as I got them on there and I did a roll test. Let all the air out of the bike with the one inch lowering blocks and I could still push the bike just fine. I wasn't into any wiring harnesses and I wasn't into my fender. It may only be one eighth of an inch, but it's gonna get me home. It basically just turns the bike into a rigid. There's not gonna be any bounce or anything, so I have to worry about that tire hitting the fender. It's there, it's as low as it's gonna go. It's gonna ride like crap, but I'm gonna get home. Did the one inch lowering blocks change the performance of the bike? Not really. I don't see any difference. I corner and stuff just fine. I've read in forums, there's guys that absolutely love lowering blocks and guys that hate them. Okay, the reason why I had to put the one inch lowering blocks on guys, I had to get my bike lower to the ground with all the air out so my center stand would work. We are trying to shorten the center stand to keep it from hitting the exhaust. And uh, by doing that, I had to get the bike lower with all the air out. So went from four inch to three inch with the one inch lowering blocks and now the center stand works fine although it still hits the exhaust. And we did a dry fit test on it. You could clearly see it was gonna hit on the one side, but I went ahead and installed it because I have a couple of options uh, from here. And uh, for, but right now I just wanna get this on video and show you what we did uh, to make this work and make it rideable. All right guys, I got down here, took the bag off, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I had to do um, to go through. I will skip all the stuff that I did that didn't work and I'll show you what I did that actually did work. Now hopefully right here you can see that I installed the one inch lowering blocks right here and here's my JNR 
designed air compressor right here. Uh, normally, this would be mounted with this on top uh, as specified by JNR. But once I called them and asked them, they told me it was okay to flip the compressor. It gave me enough clearance. My issue was with this piece on top where it's supposed to be away from the exhaust. Uh, when I let the air out of the bike, this piece was now hitting the one inch lowering block. What I also done was take this side, the one inch lowering block, it comes in like one, two, three hole uh, for one, two and three inch drop. I took that off and I ground off the last hole. Um, I just put a grinder on it and ground it completely off and smooth uh, because I don't need it. I'm only dropping it one inch, not two or three inches. They're there and it was, just, it was still a little bit close to the uh, compressor. So I just ground that hole completely off and smoothed it out. Now I can go back with some black touch up paint and hit that if I want to. But right now I'm just happy to have it where it's actually all functioning. I can lower the bike now and this compressor is gonna clear the uh, one inch lowering block. Now that all seems very easy, but it took about five to six hours of me sitting here looking at everything, trying to figure out how to make that work. Now one thing I did do is the uh, chrome cover, uh, your heat shield cover that comes off over here. It came way down here and I actually took the heat shield off and ground that back because it's on the bottom of the bike and you couldn't see it anyway. So I ground that back to give me another half inch or so. And basically what I'm going to do now, my last option is to heat this pipe right here and crease that up just a little bit. The dude over at the exhaust uh, shop said that they do it all the time. They just heat this up and crease it. So this will go up another, uh, you know, probably quarter to half inch, depending on how much I crease it. As of right now, that's as high as I can get the uh, center stand. So there you have it guys, that is the complete review and everything that I had to do to get a center stand to work on a bike with true dual exhaust and uh, the, the adjustments that I had to make to actually get the center stand to almost clear the exhaust. I'm almost there. So guys, just be aware if you're running true duals and your exhaust actually cuts back away to avoid the belt on the left side, any center stand you get, I don't care what brand you get, you're gonna have trouble that with that stand hitting the uh hitting the exhaust i don't care how many adjustments are on the stand um you're probably always going to hit that exhaust but there it is she sets good she sets straight she sets even she sets steady it was well worth the time and effort i had to put in to uh, try to make it work i'm going to do that one last thing with uh, creasing that and uh we'll see how that works and i, I won't update the video uh, but i will leave it in the uh, comment section down below to let everybody know once I have that creased and how much it actually uh, brought the exhaust up more. Now, like I said, guys, this may not be the best way to do it, but this is the way that I figured out how to do it. Uh, a couple of phone calls between friends and me and a couple of shops around here. This is the best way that we can come up with to put the center stand on a bike with true dual exhaust. So if this video helps you in any way, guys, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. See the likes and subscribes makes it really worth it, guys, and I appreciate the hell out of that. I try to answer all comments. Uh, if there's any questions or anything, I check it daily and I try to get to you guys as quick as I can and try to help you out if you have questions or comments about any of the upgrades. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, guys. I really appreciate the hell out of it. Until the next video review, as always, be safe and keep your knees in the breeze.